Okay, time for another bedtime story. Did All you right. like hearing about the kings? Yeah. You want me to read another one? Yeah, that'd be great. All right. Well, I have another story about a king queued up right here. All right. Today we're going to learn about King Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar who? Nebuchadnezzar. Oh. He was the man who some say built the hanging gardens of Babylon. Wow. It's one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. You think there were uh, dinosaurs in there? I don't know about dinosaurs, but maybe some dinosaur-sized vegetables. Oh, Grandpa. Could you imagine? Oh, Grandpa. I bet they grew very large there. But anyways, Nebuchadnezzar was a very powerful ruler, and he conquered many lands. Like a pirate? Pirates live on water. Like a land pirate? No. Okay. Nebuchadnezzar was very proud because he was such a big and well-known ruler. It got to his head a little bit. He uh. had people build a big gold statue in the shape of him wow. and made people bow down and worship it. Was it made of chocolate? If you watch the VeggieTales version of this story, yes. Oh. But no. Oh. oh, I forgot. Jimmy, hit it. Bedtime stories with Josh and Dave. Dave is a grandpa. Josh is a boy. Bible stories are grandpa's fave. Learning about Jesus brings him so much joy. Eventually, Nebuchadnezzar was humbled. He was made to feel not so proud after he went through a lot of difficult and strange things in his life. He even, for a time, believed that he was an animal. He completely lost his mind. Like zoanthropy? Uh, okay, Google, what is zoanthropy? Yes, like zoanthropy. Oh. Bright kid, bright kid. Eventually, after he went through all of these difficult things, he came to know and acknowledge the power of the one true God. Wow. Hey, Grandpa? Yeah. You think we could build a giant chocolate statue tomorrow? I don't think we can do that. Your mother really wants me to make sure you don't eat too much sugar. Okay. But wrapping up here. Even though Nebuchadnezzar eventually turned his heart toward God, I wouldn't say he's a great example of a good king. But we'll keep reading and we'll learn who truly was the greatest king of them all. Wow. Thanks, Grandpa. You're welcome, Joshua. Night. Good night, Joshua. Hey, Grandpa. Yeah, Joshua. I think you forgot your phone. Oh, you're right. Hang on. Uh, oh, where is it? Uh, ah! <laughs> you're so old, Grandpa. Good night, Joshua. Good night, Grandpa. They'll be about kings, some good, some bad, like Herod and David and King Ahab. But none compare to the King of Kings, Jesus Christ our Savior.